hello everyone welcome to the vs code series today in this series we are not talking about how we can uh, develop our application so basically we are talking about uh, how we can boost our development process so basically we are talking about how, which text editor is best for you which are the required uh, or performance wise better extension for you how you can uh, make your code more readable for you and uh, I saw many tutorials where most of the instructors are teaching something on the YouTube or Udemy courses and they are following a very um, bad uh, VS, uh, bad text editor or extensions. They are not using any extensions and they are wasting their time. For example, uh, there is extension for adding the namespace at the top and instructors are wasting their time to manually go to the top and adding their extensions, right? So it's uh, not good practice to always uh, add them at the top manually. So there are a lot of extensions. So let me also, uh, let me go to the text editor. So you can look my text editor, how it's look like. So uh, there is visual icons. I added to the icons so you can instantly, uh, they are representing that which is a blade file, which is a PHP file. So you can see that dashboard.blade.php and welcome.php. So they are exactly telling that these are blade files. So how I uh, design this uh, this type of uh, theme, and then I will also tell you that uh, how to let me go to the uh, app.php file, HTTP controllers, and controller.php. So it's exactly telling that controller is a PHP class. And it's also telling that which is a directory and which is a file. So it's very readable. So because Laravel have a lot of directories and files, so you need to, you can easily differentiate that what are the views file, what are the PHP files, and what are the images and stuff like that. So it's very to use. And uh, uh, some others we are also going to discuss about how you can set the identification and uh, how you can set the different font size, font families into the into your text editor. So for example, this one contain the font size. So it's default font size of VS Code. So if I change this to 24, so take eye on this, so we can also increase the font size. So it's totally upon you. And you can also change the line height. So I'm just updating the 29th. So you can see that uh, the difference between two lines. Great. Okay, so I uh, revert it back. So you can also change its font family. Like I'm going to change the Verdana. Save this one. And yes, it's changed. So by default, uh, the font family of this VS code is uh, consolas. Okay, and you can also enable and disable the material icons. So if I disable these icons, save this one. So take eye on this my, uh, co uh, my project files are not uh, readable, right? So if I uh, enable it again, so you can see that how much it's readable. And uh, let me also give you uh, some more examples. So if I go to the web.php file, uh, first I'm going to web.php file and then I'm going to explain it to everything that how, why it's useful. So if I go here and let's click on this view welcome. So it's so uh, telling me that now you can go to this blade. So this is also an extension which allow us to go to view. So if I click on it, so I can instantly quick, uh, I can instantly switch into this welcome blade.php file. So it's very useful, right? So it's also describing this dashboard and uh, it's also suggesting when you uh, call this route name, in your blade files, it's also telling you that this uh, uh, this uh, uh, route name exists, right? So let me go to the welcome blade and here I'm going to also tell you different things, right? So if I go here and type uh, mustache sign, so you are familiar with this one. So if you want to add uh, something in the blade file, so you can apply the mustache sign, like you are calling the variables and, uh, save, uh, and uh, viewing some value. So let me type the mustache sign and then it's, it instantly add a space between these mustache signs. So let's take eye on this. So I added mustache sign and this, then it's instantly added a space. So I don't need to manually 
um, by default it's look like this right so we need to manually add the space and now our variables are readable so here we can uh, create our variable right so these are the tricks which uh, boost our development purposes there is one more thing here let's go here and click on this uh, open work from file so there are you can uh, create a branch and in the branch you can save multiple projects and when you open this branch you are all of the projects are loaded here so you can instantly switch into any of the project and you can open a specific project console so there is much more things so there are also i'm going to tell you that how you can apply different uh, different fonts how you can change your editor identification and much more thing so let me go here and tell you that who i am and then i'm going to also go through the full series i am shooting this full series uh, my i most of the cases i shooted full um, shoot full series because people learn a lot from the real life examples okay so now i opened the playlist uh, which exists on the my youtube channel i have playlist on laravel pdf series where i'm shooting it from build, uh, from to scratch how you can uh, create a simple pdf using dom pdf and then i'm going to go to the advanced that how you can render the images or you can style your uh, sheets in the pdf and stuff like that also i have a course on laravel 9 also i have a course on how you can build the admin dashboard and then laravel email advanced series i have also http api series i have zoho integration and i have also calendar js and stuff like that so there is much more videos on it so don't forget to check them out and uh, in the next video i'm going to uninstall my text editor and i'm going to do it from scratch i'm going to install this vs code and then i'm going to uh, install the extensions by describing everything to you so I will meet you in the next one. Bye-bye.